Hello everyone. This is Thursday, September 22nd, 2022. At 12 noon, temperature is 15 degrees Celsius. I'm downtown in Dartmouth to do a walk around down here today. So without any more delay, let's get going. I hope you enjoy this little walk. I'm just crossing Pleasant Street. And we're going up the Irish Town Road. Try to cover some areas I haven't maybe walked too much in downtown Dartmouth. The sun poked its head out briefly, and now we got clouds again. We may not see any more sun today as we approach the landing of the hurricane, which is supposed to come tomorrow. But I suppose there's, it's, it's quite a wide storm, so there could be clouds preceding the rain and, and that kind of thing. So. We'll say, I don't think we're going to be any more sunshine today. 15 is not super warm. It's not bad if the sun's out, but when it's cloudy and overcast, it's not all that warm. But it's okay. It's a lot better than it will be in December. <laughs> I can say that. Okay, we'll continue right on up Irish Town Road. I was uh, procrastinating this morning. I went into Tim Hortons, probably sat there for a good hour and a half with my headphones on and having a large coffee. So I didn't get a whole lot done <laughs> this morning other than have coffee and listen to music. Well, that's beneficial, I suppose. That's Music is good for the soul, for sure. And coffee's good, too. Good for the mind. There you go. Music for the soul, coffee for the mind. I made a very long video yesterday. I think it was about an hour and a half. <laughs> That's long for me. Usually I try to keep them around an hour, but I got carried away and it went about an hour and a half. These are the back streets in, in uh, Dartmouth, downtown. Not necessarily traveled a lot. It's mostly residential up here, but I uh, will make our way over into the to the shopping area and the stores and the restaurants and stuff sooner or later. That has a name of Weeby Terrace, but there's not much back there. It's just like a driveway, but it's got a, a name because there's a couple of houses back there. So it looks like a driveway, but it is a street. You can sure tell it's fall, eh? A lot of the, depending on what street you're on, but there's a lot of leaves on the ground. Some up here, it depends on the kind of trees. Certain trees have put the, a lot more leaves down quicker. But you can see the color changing just a little bit. And look up here, there's lots of leaves on the sidewalk here. I was actually kicking and walking through, swishing my feet in them in one spot this morning. Well, you can see there's Quite a bit of uh, leaves right here. In other spots, there's lots. And, and I've seen some trees starting to get a little bare in the top.
That means we are into fall, the beginning of fall. Look at this little trailer here, isn't that cute? You can camp in it though. It's not very big, but it has got, it's about, about all that's in there is a bed. <laughs> you gotta, I saw, I can see in on the way by. And there's a bed, goes the length, length ways of it. Like a, at least a 54 inch bed. So yeah, you can still go camping with it. If you want the, that's what you call cheap, cheap camping. A little trailer like that, you can pull that with just about any kind of car. And as usual, we're going to be walking up hills. <laughs> I love the hills, they keep in shape. Don't mind it at all. Don't mind walking up hill. hills. Walking up hills is good for the body. See, now we got three things, body, body, soul, and mind. So you got body, soul, and mind. You got music, coffee, and walking. Let's continue right on up this steep hill. Blind crest as the garbage truck makes its way across whatever the street is. The street is called Dahlia, Dahlia Street. Now this is a steep hill. This will, this will see what kind of shape I'm in. If I can walk right up this hill and not do too much huffing and puffing. What do you think? Can I make it? I think so. Just walking flat all the time don't do a whole lot for you. It helps. But steep hills really get your blood pumping. Well, I haven't slowed down yet. When I get up here, I'll turn around and see how steep this hill is when we look back the other way. A little bit more, and we'll be to the top. Almost. Well, this is about the top of the hill. Now let's turn around. Quite a steep hill, isn't it? Pretty steep indeed. But I made it. Might did a little huff in there, but not too much. Look at all the leaves on the street out there. Lots of leaves. I believe the street runs parallel to Portland, I think. We'll see when we get up here. This could be, this could be Victoria up here. I'm almost thinking that might be Victoria Street. There's one at the end of the street. 
the end of where on Pine Street now. Pine Street. Pine and Rose. Well, we survived that steep hill. Whoops, sorry, I hit, hit something there. We'll see if this is Victoria, but I think it is. Guys, the street ends right there. So it must be Victoria. We will see. All right, there's no street sign right here. But I'm pretty sure it is Victoria. But I'm gonna go this way. Let's go this way. And when I see a street sign up here, then I'll be able to tell you for sure. But I'm, sh I'm sure it's Victoria. But we'll still... I know it's Victoria, so I can... It's safe to say this is Victoria Street. But we'll wait till we read the sign, just to be 100% sure. I see another nice steep hill up here we can walk. Just in case that first one wasn't enough. I'm gonna try not to make this video an hour and a half long like the last one. That was a very long video. I don't know how many people will watch it all for an hour and a half. They're kind of long. I try not to let them go for an hour usually, but once in a while. I do. But the one before that was only a half hour, so. Just depends on what I'm doing, how long it turns out to be. But I'm gonna be mindful of that today. And I'm gonna try not to go, I don't know why they think it's a good, a good amount, 45 minutes? Okay, maybe somewhere between 45 minutes and, a, and an hour, okay? I'll try not to go over that. Continue right on here. Up another hill. And then we will make our way downtown again eventually here. Sooner or later. Okay, here we go, the climb again. Another steep hill. Up another steep hill. That looks like it might have been a tennis court or something at one time. Or a parking lot, I'm not sure, but it's not being used anymore for whatever it was designed for originally. There's several things like that here, here in Dartmouth and Halifax. Certain different roads that used to exist and they shut them off and now they're just a piece of pavement there but there's not a road anymore. Yeah, and there's things like that. That house is sold.
Well, this hill wasn't too bad after the other one. The other one was longer. This one might be steep. Not that steep, I guess. Okay, that looks right back down town again, that way back down Dartmouth. Well, we're gonna stay up here for a little bit. I don't know if I was on Victoria Street or not. I thought I was, but maybe not. I'm not sure, because this don't look quite right here. But a lot of these signs don't have any, don't have any signs to tell what this street is. They tell what the little street is going off of it, but they, you don't have one to say. It's actually if I'm missing a lot. And, Halifax is street signs. I think everybody knows the name of every street. And no need for a sign. They, they don't need that. Well, it would be nice. No, this doesn't look like Victoria Street. I thought first it was, because it went up over that steep hill, but I don't think so. At some point, there has to be a sign on the street telling us what street it's called. Well, what the name of it is. Maybe on this post there's one. Maybe. I almost think I see something on top of this. So the little street down through there is Mayflower. But I can see I was wrong about the Victoria Street. This is definitely not Victoria Street. It's something else. It is Thistle, Thistle Street. That's what it is. Mayflower and Thistle. So, uh, I've never been on Thistle Street up here before. This is all brand new to me. So, we're walking together. This, this is my first time walk in this little neighborhood right here. And so you, you, my viewers, know as much about this street right now as I do. First time on it. It seems like a, a nice little residential area. Mostly private homes, but there could be some apartments, but I don't think so, there might be. It's definitely uh, more of a residential area for houses. First time I've ever walked on it. Well, we'll keep walking and see where it goes. A part of the city I have never seen before. It's up here, I'm on Thistle Street. Now, it might have changed his name since I first got on it, too. It's possible that might have started out in Victoria and maybe I took a different turn or something like that. And now I'm on Thistle Street. That could be what has happened. That I started out on Victoria and then swung to the right and ended up on Thistle. That could be it. I really looked like Victoria at the beginning, but now I'm not, I, I'm not on it anymore, at least if I was. Well, we're learning something new here today. 
Cecil Street. Nice little street. Now I got a feeling this is gonna wind around to Lake Benook. I could be right. Sullivan's Pond, that area. I think this is where this is gonna go. Which wasn't my planned route today, but when you start out and you don't know with all the streets, that can happen. That's what I'm thinking where this might be going. It's all right, because I'm just exploring too. I'm pretty sure that's where this is going to go. So we have, at this intersection, one side is called Forest Road, the other side is called Cleveland Court, or Crescent. And another bland crest, but I'm not going that way. Court, I guess it's called, yeah, Cleveland Court. We'll see what we come out to here now. This might be a, a more of a well-traveled street when I get to the end of this. Well, there's a bus stop here anyways. Bus 56 stops here. However you pronounce this, C R I C H Crichton Crich Crich Crichton Park Road. I have no idea where I'm going now. I'm totally, totally uh, lost. But I'm going to keep walking. I know it'll bring me out somewhere to something I recognize. But none of this looks familiar to me. This is all, all brand new to me. But we'll keep walking because I know the. City is over that direction, but the main part of downtown is in that direction right there. And that bus goes up to Dartmouth Crossing, which is a big shopping area here in Dartmouth. I know I showed it on videos before. Maybe you've seen them, maybe you haven't, I don't know. bit of uh, new stonework right here. Fairly new, it looks like. Yes, I have no idea where I'm coming out. <laughs> this is totally new. Totally, I'm totally lost. I used to have two phones and I could could check my direction, but now it's, it's a down to one because the other one is uh, kind of bit the dust. So I just gotta be going with this one. I don't, I'm not able to make a call while I'm while I'm walking or or to look up my maps or anything like that.
yeah, it was great when I had two phones. I could, I could take calls on one and make videos on the other one. And, but the other phone was getting old, and it, it, finally it was no good anymore. So. And we have one phone now. All right, now, this is kind of cool. There's a sign here that says Boathouse Road. So this is going to go down by Sullivan's Pond. I'm sure it is. So let's take it down. Another steep hill down. Well, I walked all around that area and I didn't see anything I recognized, so I guess I don't travel that area very much. It was all brand new, but I've been here because this goes over to, this goes from Sullivan's Pond to Lake Benlook. We could be on the Lake Benlook side by the looks of things. Boathouse Lane. Oakwood House, North Star Rowing Club, and Atlantic Division Canoe Kayak. All that way. But we're gonna go right down through here. Well, I see a lot of things that are familiar now. I know exactly where I am. One of my videos, I showed you those new bleachers that are across there. You might not see them very good from here now. The, that roof of that barn-like building is blocking the new bleachers. But, and we have been in this area too. This is Benook, Lake, Lake Benook. So if we go right, it's going to take us over to Sullivan's Pond. Okay, now we're, now we're back on, on familiar territory. A lot of these streets up here are, are just residential streets and they're short, they're, they're kind of small streets, not streets you'd probably travel if you're driving. So they were very new to me. I wasn't really sure where I was until I saw something familiar, which is this area down here. Once I saw that, I knew where I was then. So there is a lot of Parsley Dartmouth that I haven't seen yet. And this is the rules in all the parks in this city. Park hours from 5 a.m. to 10 p.m. Except the public gardens over in, over in Halifax. And that closes a half an hour before it dark. That's the rules there. Now I don't go till 10 o'clock every night. This one here doesn't have gates on it, so they can't really, they can't really say, they tell you the hours you're supposed to come in here. I don't know if they got anybody controlling it. Give you a ticket if you're in here after hours or not, I don't know. But I know the, the park in Halifax has got gates on it and you're not allowed in. After a, a half an hour before dark, you're supposed to leave. And then they lock the gates up and then nobody's supposed to be in there. I would imagine they check it pretty good. Okay, let's go this way. Cross the bridge. And there's the canal with its locks. We've got different uh, stages. You can see the water's running down here into the next stage. And it's like that all the way down to the blocks. Boat barges came up through here. That's why the rocks were here, to raise up the water so that you could bring a, a, a craft up through here.
okay? In 1971, a hurricane struck this area and did a lot of damage up here. So this could happen again when this storm lands, starting tomorrow and through Saturday. Friday night and through Saturday, we're going to have a big storm here. Supposed to be a hurricane, but you never know. It could get downgraded. To a, to a smaller category. When we first heard it was coming, it was like a, a category two and three, and it started to go up. But I, last I heard, it has gone down a bit. So we'll see which way it's going to go. Nevertheless, it's going to be a powerful storm, regardless. And the thing about Halifax, you've got a lot of trees that grow way up through the wires. So if we get a storm like that, you could expect some power outages. But we'll see. We're preparing. We're all charging up our batteries so we can use our cell phones for a few days before my, my son has batteries and my wife has batteries and I have a battery that will recharge my phone about two and a half times maybe. So today we should be all right. The storm's not supposed to supposed to start raining, I think. In the night, maybe tomorrow will be raining, but it's not the brunt of the storm. It's, uh... There was no wind at all when I came out this morning, but I see now we do have some wind. But it's hard to say how much wind there will be. Okay, I'm crossing the street. We might as well walk down through the other park, uh, Sullivan's Pond Park, right? Since we're already here, which is right there. Sullivan's Pond is right there. We'll just go down through that to Portland. And I said it wouldn't go over an hour, but I don't know how long I've been now. I bet it was close. But we'll go down through the pond and then maybe We'll end the video down there because I don't want to get these big, long hour and a half videos all the time. Oh, boy, you're right to death. You got to be shorter. I got to keep them a little bit shorter if possible. So that's my plan. We'll go down through, we'll go down through Sullivan's Pond Park and then we'll sign off down there, okay? That should be good for this one. Starting to get a little bit breezy. Not too bad yet, but when I came out this morning, there was no wind at all. It was really calm. And I was thinking, oh, great day for a video. No wind. But it is picking up slowly. Hey, you want to have a look at all the ducks and the swans? I think they're swans. I think that's what they are, swans. They get to know you, they'll come up to you, but not so much if they don't, not used to you. Ducks, they're used to people, but, and we got a mix of pigeons and ducks. We got ducks here and pigeons, both, and swans. I think they're swans. They might have another oh, name, but far that we'll call them swans anyway. They look like swans. And there's there's pigeons and ducks and swans. <laughs> there you go. Let's see how close I can walk to a duck before it changes its direction. He's already changing. See? You let you get so close and then that's it. Now, over in Halifax, at the public gardens, the ducks will walk right over your toes like they're so used to, they're so used to you. People sitting on the benches and the ducks coming by and 
and they're, they're a little more tame. And where I live, there's a, there's a little lake there, and we got ducks down there, and they're used to people. Not quite as good as the ones in in, in Alifax at the park, but, but they're still fairly tame. I can walk with them all four of them. They won't, I haven't been able to reach down and pick one up, but I can so I can walk to both a foot of them before they start to stay their distance. Mm -hmm. But they're quite tame. I always say just about anything can be tamed if you want to put the time and effort into it to tame it. Even wild animals can be tamed. Foxes. I don't know about a coyote. <laughs> I don't know if anyone's had any success taming a coyote. I'm not sure. But foxes can be tamed. Bears. Bears can be tamed. A lot of things can be tamed. Well, let's see, where do we want to go? We'll walk over to Portland. It's starting to, the wind is starting to pick up now, you probably noticed that. So I'm gonna, I'll walk over here somewhere and I'll sign off on this video because you don't want to listen to a bunch of wind blowing. I always try to be mindful of that because I know what it sounds like when the wind, wind's blowing. Let's just sit down right here on this park bench and I'll sign off right here. There we go. See here, look at that over Sullivan's Pond. That's pretty good. All right. If you enjoyed this video, it'd be nice if you push that like button and I'll just know how much you enjoyed it. And if you're not a subscriber yet, I'd love it if you become a subscriber. It doesn't cost anything and it will help me out immensely. And for those who have subscribed so far, Thanks so much. We're getting there. We just keep keep beating that drum, and we'll we'll get up to our 1,000 subscribers before too long. I'm hoping. All right. With that, hope you're having a nice day wherever you are. Take care. Be safe. Until next time. Bye for now.